Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be checking out unboxing and first impressions of the Funky S. Now I back this oh god about seven months maybe maybe possibly eight months ago not too sure on the particulars of the exact date but it was a long time ago but it's finally here I went with the original purple version I absolutely am um, really excited about diving into this so let me first start off with the characteristics and the dimensions of this device which is 42.5 times 42.5 times 13.8 millimeters the processor is an arm cortex a7 clocked at 1.2 gigahertz the ram is a 64 megabit ddr2 ram Storage is an SD card up to 128 gigabytes. The display is an LCD IPS screen at 1.52 inches with a resolution scale of 240 by 240 pixels. The audio is a 10 millimeter nano speaker at 500 milliwatts. We have the battery life, a 410 milliamp hour lithium battery, LCD charger indicator, also micro USB port, charge battery and load games. So it'll be transferring data guys. That is the specs. It is a keychain. Now this is, oh, it's a novelty really guys, because it is so incredibly small. It's unbelievable. So I'm really, really excited. So this is the box that it comes in. Funky S, original purple. It's got a lovely highlighted outline display of the Funky S opening. On the back, it just says Funky S with a EU sticker of certification. On opening, we have a lovely purple. Really, really nice. So let's take it out the box. Okay. As I say, it is on a keychain. It's something that you can carry around on a keychain. It's absolutely tiny. Wow. Oh, okay. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Uh, okay, so I do have something missing. Is it in the box? Never mind. It's not a biggie. Bit of a shame, waiting seven months, but hey ho. Okay, so it does come with interchangeable faceplate buttons and d-pad as well it comes with a nice funky s toilet paper manual but i think that it is quite highlighted in what you need to do welcome to your funky s buttons so that's really nice shortcut press settings usb mount file transfers okay so that's really really simple that's pretty nice i like that Let's move the box out of the way. So it comes in a nice neat, pa neat package. So here it is. It is incredibly small. So on the right hand side, we have the micro USB, obviously for charging and also transferring data. We do have two shoulder buttons. Quite nice. On the left hand side, well, I have a missing, hopefully you guys won't. Maybe if Funky S are watching, they may send me out a left-sided hinge cover. That would be lovely, guys, if you're watching. Okay, so as we open it, Funky S, but we have brightness, we have save, load, Aspect ratio and exit game. Are you sure? Yes. So here is the display itself. Let me just brighten this down again. Okay, that's better. Okay, so here is the interface itself. Really, really simple, basic, but really nice. We have Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo, Game Gear, Master System, Genesis, Turbo Graphics, Atari Lynx, Neo Geo Pocket Color and Black and White. 
PlayStation. Yes, we got some really good. And I do believe that Funky S are working on getting MAME and Final Burn Alpha on here as well, which will be really, really exciting. It'd be great to play some arcade classics on here. I'll be, I'll be really looking forward to that. Now, I do believe that I see in the comments where it said that if a third party developer beats them to it, then it might be available sooner than later, but they are in the works with it, guys, which is really, really exciting. So let's just jump in to some games. So let's start off with I hope that you guys can see that with it being so small. I'm trying to make sure that we can get it focused. So we'll start off with some Atari Lynx. So you can't add box art, guys, but for the purposes of this video and time scale, I haven't added any to the games themselves. Just the preloaded games that you get with the system when it arrives. I hope it's coming across, but the IPS panel screen, even though it's small at 1.52 inches, it's still very vibrant and very, very clear. Let me put some volume up. Let's do a bit of surfing. And as you can see, emulation is really smooth. It's really nice. And the good thing about this as well, guys, is if you exit the game, asks you if you want to but if you go back into the game you can either resume the game or you can start a new game so even if you forget to save it you will automatically go back to the exact same point where you last left off and not only that guys but that also works with closing the clamshell design so with it being like a Game Boy SP as you close the device it will power down save battery and literally when you open it again, it will start up like as if you're starting it up, but then it will also resume the exact position where it was last time, which is another amazing cool feature. I haven't added it so far, but there is ports as well, like the N64 version of Super Mario, which is also amazing. So that port is actually running at 60 frames on here as well. I will do another video later on down the line, uh, including and showcasing that. But yeah, so far I'm really, really happy with it. So let's try some other games. Let's go on to some Game Boy. And another unique feature, which is really, really nice, is that if you use the shoulder buttons, it actually goes through alphabetical. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then if you just scroll, um, it just literally goes with all the games under the G or any letter of the alphabet, which I think is another really, really, really nice touch. As you can see, the actual image quality is really, really nice. I think that it's incredibly amazing what they've done with the size of the unit itself and have these games running really, really well. It is an engineering feat. Let's move on to some Game Boy Advance.
So the controls themselves, with them being incredibly small, it really is quite easy to slip and press a button that you're not supposed to. But for the most part, I'm really, really happy. I, d I thought it would be a lot harder to play than what it is, but as you can see, guys, I'm absolutely flying through here. And it's a good distance away from myself as well, so... It's small, yes, but it's still incredibly playable. The sound, as you can expect, is not the best, just simply because of the size of the unit itself and what type of speaker they have in the unit as well. But... For the most part, it does its job and purpose. Let's step it up a notch. Let's go with some Super Nintendo. Okay, and I'm sure everybody wants to see some Star Fox performance running on the Super Nintendo. As you can see guys, it plays absolutely amazing and it looks really great on the small screen. 
Okay, so let's step it up a notch. If there is anything else that you wish to see running on here, guys, please just let me know in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts on the Funky S, whether you've ordered one and waiting on one, or whether you will be picking one up. I will leave a link to the page where you can order one. I highly recommend it if you are a collector. But as I say, this, will I use it as a daily driver? Probably not. But yesterday I played so much with it and I was just incredibly impressed. I think it is a novelty item. It's definitely not a daily driver, but I think for what this is and the engineering that's gone behind it in order to get this type of quality in such a small form factor, I just think it's an incredible feat. Uh, really, really glad that I got it and I think it was definitely worth the option. So let's kick it up a notch and let's go on to some PlayStation 1 games. So Bloody Raw 2, I tried, <sighs> wasn't very good, but the original Bloody Raw, uh, Bloody Raw actually worked really 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 well i'm very very surprised at just how well ps1 performance is on this little unit As you can see, Bloody Raw, the original is running really well. As you can see, 
Rival Schools is also running really, really well and it looks amazing. Absolutely love it. As you can see guys, it is very, very playable. So, in summary, I think this is absolutely incredible. Look at the size of it guys, it is absolutely minuscule. I love it. It's a bit of a shame that it, it, it has a little bit missing on there, but that doesn't really bother me really. But apart from that, I think this is incredible. I think ugh, it was definitely worth the money. And just to see everything running, especially PS1, as I say, if there's anything else that you want to see running on here, guys, if you want to see a tutorial on how to add more games, uh, increase the size of the SD card, then let me know in the comments and I will gladly accommodate that for you guys. And as always, love to know what you think of the Funky S and take care.